can see clearly now from way downtown. Bang. Torero's leading 14 to 8. And Kansas would take the lead midway through the first. Paul Pierce, quick step. And the jumper. 42-30, Kansas at the half. And Pierce had 18 early in the second. San Diego within four. The zone defense collapses. And it's Rafe LaFrance. Back door, ding dong. Kansas 46 to 40. San Diego, though. It's Flannery again. Another one. Unbelievable. They're down by one. But Kansas too much. LaFrance. Jamola. Kansas holds on 79-72, the word I made up. Kansas is 24th straight home opening victory, but it's by seven points. To be fair, the Jayhawks had a running out there at the arc, and they get him the ball from way downtown, first of the year. And now here's Tim on defense, rejecting the shot of some guy named Patrick. Nick Patrick, five blocks, more Duncan D. He grabs the rebound, and here's the outlet to, Jerry, to Tony Rutland, and the bounce pass to Jerry Braswell for the reverse lay-in. All of it, as usual, fueled by Duncan, his 13th consecutive double-double, and he had the five blocks, including Nick Patrick. Last game in Notre Dame, however, but they weren't coming off an NIT championship. Pat Garrity from three. He got it going early and all night. Scored, scored tied at 16, then moving without the ball well, fundamentally sound. Notre Dame up one. Bobby Knight saying the line must be drawn here. Or something else to the ref. Garrity again, time running out in the half. Drains the three. Garrity finished with 23 points in the half. Indiana led by one. Notre Dame up by one when Garrity gets swatted by Patterson. John McLeod irate that there was not goaltending. He gets the technical. John was wrong. Looks like a good block. That led to a 6-0 Indiana run capped by Patterson. Indiana now down by five late in the game. Notre Dame leads by one. Patterson gets the hoop and the foul. Missed the free throw. Indiana leads by one. Notre Dame would get a shot to win. Uh, Admore White with a wide open look, so wide open it hits nothing but open space. Indiana had just asked to inbounds it, but White steals. David Lalazarian gets the shot. No. A Lollapalooza there. Patterson and Garrity hug. Indiana wins 76-75. Yet another close call for Indiana. Yet another grumpy Bob Knight F. Robert Tractor Trailer revving up, but not revving down the backboards this time. Just a little light dunk in a tight game. Michigan up two with a minute to play. Aaron Zobris for three for Bradley. No. Michigan ball. Steve Fisher has time to diagram a play. Where's Vermeil? I wish Vermeil was on this team. Lewis Bullock with the miss. Mo Taylor is stripped by Eric Roberson, who goes to Zobrist, and he goes coast to coast. Game tied at 61. Steve Fisher calls for time. Vermeil, is that Vermeil? 2.6 seconds remaining. It is not Vermeil. It is Lewis Bullock for three for the win. We go to overtime, tied at 61. In set overtime, Michigan up two. Zobrist again with the three. He nails it. Bradley up one, and Bradley coach Jim Molinari. I love this game. I absolutely love it. Michigan comes right back. Brandon Hughes from Peoria, Illinois, home of Bradley University, gives Michigan the lead. One last chance for Bradley. Cameron Rigby for three. No, he follows. Mo Taylor with the huge block. Molinari bombing. Michigan wins in overtime, 66-64, surviving a big scare by scoring the last 5.2 in shy of 1,500 all-time. Mike Chappelle finds Taman Domzalski down low for the turnaround banker. Domzalski with 16 points. Chris Carowell does well all the way through for the slam. Carowell, 17th points. Steve Wojcikowski with the steal, and Wojo lays one in at the old one-two, Bond. Seven assists, four steals for Wojciechowski. Greg Newton takes the nice pass for the jam. Newton, 15 points, 10 rebounds. Duke doubles up Lehigh. Coach K emptied the bench with four minutes left, to which the Cameron Cole Oak Elijah with the steal. Vince Carter to Serge Zwicker for the slam. Zwicker scored the game's first seven points, 12 in all. Shamond Williams from the corner for three. Five of eight, three three-pointers. Ed Cota to Vince Carter for the alley. Oop. Coda, eight assists. More from Carter Country. Behind the back dribble, the fake. The slam. Carter, 17 points. Shaman Williams, Oak Elijah. 14 record at U.S. Air Arena. Kellen Patton here to Dwayne Jordan for the two-hand jam. We're tied at 15 early. Later in the first, Dwayne Jordan. Now the backdoor pass, Shaheen Holloway to Jackie Caba for the jam. But the second half belongs to the Hoyas. Damon Jackson here misses the jumper, but Jahidi White there for the rebound and jams it back home. We're tied at 32. How about some more Jahidi White? Victor Page dishes to White. White inside will go up and stuff it down again. He had 10 points in the second half. 
finishing with 12 points and 16 rebounds as the Hoyas win their 21st in a row at home. Florida and A&M trying to keep it close. Sean Black hits the runner, but Xavier's Gary Lumpkin nails the three. 15 points all on threes. You do the math already at five of them. Xavier breaks Lumpkin to James Posey, striking a Posey. There's nothing to it. Again, Posey with the reverse layup. He had 17 points. Lenny Brown finds Torrey Braggs, who does a little bit of that after jamming it. Xavier goes on to win 95, 60, 25. Steve Robinson looking fine in that gold jacket for the Golden Hurricanes, of course. Adrian Crawford feeds Shea Seals. Baseline for the hoop. And then Rafael Maldonado hits the turnaround jumper. Maldonado finished with 12. Tulsa wins it easily, 79-50. 20 of Shea Seals' season high, 27 points came in the second half. Tulsa led up four after that little pickup game. Alexander Cool throws it down. GW up six to nothing. The lead of 50 to 38 in the second half. Kinte Smith finds Yegor Meschenikov. Colonials up by 12. Rogers on the run finds Meschetikov. Ibita. Meschetikov at 18. The boys from Belarus personally took care of the week. Offensive series for Wake. Tim taking his game outside. Well, that doesn't work, so follows his own, drops a dime. Sean Allen, Duncan had three assists. First half, Horatio Webster. No soup for you! Freshman Quentin Smith then would try, and Quentin should know the freshmen are not served soup. Four blocks for Duncan. Duncan also getting it done on the offensive end. State tried to guard him one-on-one. -on -one. Well, that's not a good idea. And one. Duncan had 19 points. So State tried a double team, perhaps even a triple team. So Jerry Braswell, bottom. 15 for Braswell, and Timmy could smile. 74-43, Wake blows out Mississippi State, and Richard was right. The dogs sacrificial lambs, and no divine force stopped the Deacons from using the knife. A 19-zip run in the first half, and it was over after that. Wake shot early, and you know, if you can bounce past well, you can play at any level. Brad, Brian Cardinal and Michael Robinson for the easy deuce. Kentucky warming up, Allen Edwards Alley. Derek Anderson, oop, finger rolls as good as a dunk. More from the Cats, my point about bounce passing. Anthony Epps, Ron Mercer. Time running out in the first half. Purdue hangs tough. Brad Miller, yes, sir. The Kentucky lead cut to three, and Brad, much rejoicing. Yay. Second half, though, the Cats turn up the D. 28 Purdue turnovers on the evening. There's one. Mercer gets up, gets down. Kentucky up by seven, and Gene Cady perhaps said a bad word. More from Mercer. Ball gets loose on the floor. Here comes Ron. I'll take that. Rams at home. Mercer finished up with 30. Kentucky wins at 101 to 87. Those 30 is a career high for Mercer. He added seven boards. Cal State Northridge early on. Jelani McCoy, ready or not, refugees taking over. He was 9 of 10 shooting, but Northridge hangs tough. Off the steal. Keith Higgins rocks at home. He had 10 points. But Bruins moving. Cameron Dallafeach, Charlie O'Bannon, dunk fest. O'Bannon had 23. John Wooden used to be able to dunk. Second half more UCLA. Nice passing. Cameron Dowd to McCoy. As cool as the other side of the pillow. He had 18 points. More UCLA. Dollar steal. Alley oop to McCoy. Cameron, seven assists. UCLA wins at 95 73. McCoy and J.R. Henderson did not start this game, though, due to unspecified without his town. Off the missed foul shot, Terrence Robinson just ripping stuff up. He finished with 17 points on six of eight shooting. Fresno State from the outside. Dominic Young, triple. Lieutenant Dan, it's a three pointer. Young had 15. More onslaught. Jarrett Turnage, peace out. Fresno State, 45 baskets. They bear Chattanooga. Another Bailey in action tonight. We saw Toby earlier. His younger brother, Ryan, getting his swerve on for Penn State. Nice finger roll. He had 12 points. Penn State up early. He can dish it as well. On the inbounds over the terrible UTC press to Calvin Booth for the rock hard, hard rock. Booth had nine. Tennessee tough through two. Second half, 66-57. Willie Young to Johnny Taylor. Oh, my. 11 for JT. But... Bailey not playing like a freshman, playing like a senior or something. Three Nittany Lions in double figures. Penn State wins at 73 to 63. Fortson double team. Hey, y'all need to bring three for this guy. Jack at the rack, ring it up. One of seven shots he made. B.J. Williams tries to guard Fortson. B.J. got played. Fortson says, I'm better than you. He had 16 in the first half, Cincy by 12. But second half just underway. Fortson picks up his third foul on a reach into Pollard. Cincinnati leads by 14 when Fortson goes to the bench. And that's when Paul Pierce takes over. Off the inbounds pass. Pierce bringing it. 8 of 16 shooting. Kansas down one. Paul Pierce. Triple. Shabu dip. 
Kansas goes on an 18 to 2 run with Fortune on the bench. Jayhawks pull away. Pierce fakes the three. Ready or not, refugees take it over. Pierce had 17 points, 15 in the second half. Kansas wins it 72 to 65. Jeez. Jayhawks use a 36 to 14 run to say all American Keith Van Horn play a play ahead 14 points in the game. Then Drew Hansen. Drew, you the man. The three from the corner. Well, he was lending kind to of the man because those were his only points in the game. Utah shoots only 35% and still wins by 20. Van Horn added 15 rebounds to his 14 points. Alley you shake down to Tony Batie for the dunk. Part of an 11-0 tech run. They're up 15-9, but the Lobos would answer. Kenny Thomas down low, then Kenny goes up high, bends the rim. He had 19 Lobos within seven at recess. Second half, Corey Carr off the screen with a hand in his face. Yeah, and what's your point? Carr, four of nine from three world. Raiders up 10. James Dickey smells upset. Not that I know what upset smells like. Charles Smith alley-oop shake to Clayton Shields. Shields had 18 Lobos pull within two, but Carr was fat. Hitting the J to widen the lead for good. 25.7 assists for Carr. Dave Bliss, not blissful. Tech wins at 77-68. Red Raiders freshman stud from the outside. Early three. Money. Thomas, two of three from three lens. Still in the first. Jeff Corn Chuck Cornegay, no. Tim Thomas, nothing wrong. With a little bump and grind. He had nine rebounds for the freshman. Later in the first, Thomas with the runner. Kid was nine of 14. Shooting Nova up five. Second half from downtown. Thomas doing it and doing it and doing it well. Representing Nova. He was raised in Patterson, New Jersey. Alvin Williams off a turnover to Tim Thomas, 29 points. Nova wins at 75-64. Tim Thomas was considered the top high school recruit who didn't go to the NBA, which he almost did. When Gail Catlin looking calm. Jared West to Damian West. Owens for the layup. Nice this is start of something to big. Damian had 24. Next Mountaineer possession. Gordon Malone giving the board the hoop. His props give him 25 points. Next time nice down, loose ball. Adrian Pledger pledges 24 points. Next possession, Selden Jefferson, who passed Jerry West on the all-time Mountaineer assist list with the bucket. Jim Beheim needed therapy. Pledger goes right side. Jefferson pulls up for three. Owens finishes off. It's all good with the three-pointer. Beheim, Jim, express your feelings. West Virginia rolls over Syracuse 101 79 Bayham's been at Syracuse in the direct TV grade 8 first half Jahidi White was the truth inside steps up and gangsta slaps Amal Bassett White at five blocks and 14 points second half G town by 14 Larry Kettner blocks Ed Sheffney Sheffy up Edgar Padilla finds Bassett ripping stuff up a 12 2 UMass run Minutemen down two. tied at 50 Victor Page drives but White is underneath puts it in Hoyas lead by two UMass down three one ten to play Edgar Padilla to Carmelo Travieso Page draws the charge next possession Page I play my enemies like a game of chess Page at 20 points Hoyas hold on to win it 58 to 53 UMass loses for the first time in its last eight games against Big East Shannon chasing the bad pass look out Wow, hello to the Gator cheerleading squad. Reggie Freeman would put Texas up early. Freeman bringing it down by himself, making some moves. The leaner, it's good. Florida up five. Freeman with 16 points in the first half. Next play. Freeman on D. The steal. Takes it down. Take your time. Nobody's there. Rolls off the rim. Freeman, uh, a little embarrassed. You shouldn't have taken it. Anyway, you finished with 22 points. Don't be embarrassed. Closing seconds of the first half. These things happen. Sheldon Qualls down low for the lefty jam. Texas led at the half, and they go on to win. They shot 50% from the field, led by the sharp shooting of Reggie Freeman. Vincent Witt, Witt, true in the J. He had 11 points. Clemson again. The pass to Tom Weidman is wild, but he saves it. Terrell McIntyre goes down hard, but Clemson gets control of it and goes inside to Witt who scores. McIntyre left with a bruised right arm. Clemson, though, wins at 82 to 55. Number 25, Virginia and William and Mary. David, gravel off three. Can I get a witness from the congregation? David had 14. William and Mary up 10 early, but then it was all Virginia. Harold Dean to Curtis Staples to Courtney Alexander. Courtney rocks the rim. He had 14. Second half, Cavs rolling. Dean to Willie Dersh on the breakaway. Dersh. Dershowitz hits the layup off the glass. Virginia goes on a 23-8 run, wins at 75-64. UConn and Pitt early second half. Break him off something proper. Kelly Taylor, three from the top of the arc. He broke it off good. He had 19. We're tied at 22. More Taylor, three minutes left in the game. Sweet spin and hits the jumper. Pitt up eight. Taylor wasn't done. Gets the outlet pass from Mark Blunt and lays it in. Sweet off the glass. Taylor had 10 points in the last three and a half minutes. Pitt's win. win.